Oakley gets it down. Tap out number 11 towards Feldman. He drops on the top of the footy, tries to get it free. Left foot kick somehow got away to Armstrong on centre wing. And left foot kick around the corner towards Bradley is beautiful. Takes the mark, plays on now. Got O'Connor running on his outside. Goes short towards Yates. Can't pick it up. Oh, got one high, did he? Yeah. Certainly made sure the umpire saw it as well too, Andrew Yates. Now that he knows he's got the free kick, he probably should get up. <laughs> Well, he should have picked it up in the first place, and that wouldn't happen. <laughs> You're a harsh man, Laurie. Well, well, he fiddled with it. He should have, he, he's an experienced player. So Yates, left half forward flank, has got the footy. He got Oakley short. He might think about going there or Dan O'Connor. He has to call. He's called to play on now, and he will go there. Oh, and sets a task for Oakley. Forbes gives it back to Oakley. Going to be under pressure. He handballs it to nobody in particular. Sean Wells it is on centre wing. Left foot kick around the corner towards Holiday and takes the mark in front of Baxter. On centre wing. And 50. Deep. Didn't come back far enough, Chris Baxter. And the umpire will bring him back now, 50. And Lee Holiday will shoot for goal. From about uh, 35 metres out, Chris Baxter straight off the ground to re be replaced by Jason Stein. Pretty short 50. And Lee Holiday, a chance to put Bell Post Hills first on the board for the afternoon. Well, he's seen it done a few times uh, in the first quarter, Eric, so he's, uh, if he's been watching, which I dare, I, I dare say he would have been, he, he knows where to lob it. So Lee Holiday to give the Panthers the start they require in the second term. Right footer. Shooting from, as we said, 35 metres out. Directly in front comes in and has sprayed it, I think, to the left-hand side he has and threw for one behind. So they double their score, the Panthers. They are two behinds, but they trail Thompson 9-4-58. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, two and a half minutes played. So the ball uh, being returned now to Sabali Armstrong, who will uh, do the kicking in, it would appear, today for uh, Thompson. As he comes back into the 10-metre uh, square, looks for options. He's got Forbes out very wide. Decides to go short. The uh, player there is Tim Gardner. Why wouldn't you go short? Plays on immediately. He's got Forbes, who's made good ground to the wing. Marcus Forbes attacks the footy. Unfortunately, can't control it. And it is over the boundary line adjacent to our broadcast position, which is on centre wing on the southern side here of the Godfrey Street Oval. As the boundary umpire now prepares to put the ball into play. In it goes, Dean Oakley takes the ball. He's got to get rid of it quickly. Gets a handball to Highland. Handball to Felbin, who's free. Handball to Tim Gardner, who's running in the corridor. He eludes a tackle. Gets a handball over to Hood. Thompson, oh, Hood slips over and handball straight to Holliday, uh, straight to McAuliffe. So McAuliffe now stems the tide for uh, the uh, bell post hill side. And now Stein is, uh, well, over the shoulder or holding the man, said the umpire. Hard to see in a one-on-one -on -one contest, but the free kick has gone to Holiday. Kicks it inside 50 for Bell Post Hill in the, uh, that area. Picked up there by Connolly. Handball to Furman on the ground. And another handball goes to the coach. And uh, he can't control it. Thompson working hard down there. Finally, a handball comes out to Stein. He chips across the face of goal because he's got Armstrong on his own there. Takes the mark, plays on quickly by hand to O'Connor. Back to Armstrong, who decides to run. Has one bounce, runs a full measure, chips it back in board. He's got Timmy Gardner there, but Wells uh, does well to get in there and make a contest. Brings the ball to ground. Now it stacks on the mill, and good play from both players. Neither prepared to concede ground in Gardner and Wells, and the umpire had to adjudicate by putting a whistle on play, and will put the ball in the air. True centre of the ground here. Four minutes into the second quarter. Up high, Dean Oakley. Lovely tap down to Tim Gardner. Tackled high. Yeah, why is that um, not advantage? I can't uh, fathom that. I think he pulled it back, Eric, because uh, someone grabbed Tim Gardner. I think he thought it might have been an advantage. <laughs> Hasn't seen <laughs> Tim play before. <laughs> <laughs> now he's done it all again because he handballs to uh, Forbes. Marcus kicked long into uh, the full forward area. Mark not taken, comes to ground. Bell Post Hill now, unable to uh, really take control as well. Can't control it. Going through hard, Nick Maharis. Christian Hyland picks it up, his handball smothered, picked up by Adam Wells. Kick around the body to half forward, picked up by Dyer. Over the top to uh, Roberts. Roberts uh, kicks long, that's Andrew, into the full forward area. There, one-on-one -on -one contest, uh, Aitchison and Conley. Aitchison gets the fist of the footy, and it's over the boundary line 10 metres from the behind post. So 
so far in the five minutes in this quarter. Belpost Hill, Laurie, perhaps not quite doing enough. And they're uh, just spraying into the forward line a little bit, a little bit too, Eric. And uh, they've got to get uh, try and get uh, goals instead of points and put some pressure on the Thompson side. So the ball in, Timmy Gardner does the ruck work, gets down to Stein. He uh, looks for the safety of the boundary and just ahead there of Stewie Dyer, who's not able to pick the footy up. So uh, Thompson gained another 20 metres. So it's now 25 metres from the behind post. On the uh, northern side here at Godfrey Street, Ball thrown in, Tim Gardner, huge punts forward for Thompson. Christian Highland tries to pick it up, and as he does that, he's all immediately tackled. And uh, the ball now has become dead as the umpire decides to blow the whistle and will put the ball in the air once again. Between half forward flank and forward pocket for Belpost Hill. Ball tapped down, coming clear. The ball handballed. Oh, great interception, Tim Gardner. He uh, decides to run, huh. has a bounce. He's, uh, well, he's, he's held without the, f uh, oh, held with the footy. So, uh, that was interesting. I don't think he had control of the footy when he was tackled, but uh, the umpire saw it differently, and uh, Handley has uh, taken the ensuing free kick. Christian Highland might be paid the mark there, I think. Yep. Great effort in the pack, and uh, Christian Highland in defence in the back pocket has taken the mark for the Thompson Footy Club. Ball uh, now returned to him. He's got players short everywhere. Decides to, uh, well, go for, no, go short. He's got two Aitchie. there. Oh, Aitchison and Forbes. I think Forbes might have uh, upset Aitchie there because he took his uh, vision. Oh, great tackle on Fur. Oh, no, got a good tackle. Too high, said the umpire. So Matt Furman of Belpast still on the 50-metre uh, arc has been uh, given the free kick. A little luck. I think he slipped as he took the footy and slipped into the tackle. But a free kick is free kick. So... Uh, with the man on the mark on 50, Matt Furman now, will, uh, wearing number 14 for people uh, at the ground. So Furman there, kicks it to the head of the goal square, place for it to be, lovely looking kick, there's a mark in the pack, no, not paid, so Thompson prepared to uh, concede a behind. Handball through, third behind Belpost Hill, they trail Thompson 9, 458, Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, seven and a half minutes gone. Savali Armstrong from fullback to kick the ball in for Thompson. Goes with a 50 metre pass to Troy Felburn, stands his ground, takes the mark. Great kick, kicks into the man on the mark though, so a turnover possibly. Roberts, Bradley to come at it for Thompson. Bradley runs through halfback, does well. Chips the ball over the top towards Oakley, has to run onto it. Coming through Roberts as well. There also for, uh, for Thompson is O'Connor. Pack develops on centre wing. Umpire says play on. Riley tried to bash his way through, couldn't do so effectively. And there's off hands and out of bounds on centre wing on the outer side. A couple more quarter time scores. Werribee Central, three goals, three. Trial in Valise, seven goals, four. And North Geelong, four behinds. Trial Bannockburn, five goals, seven. Second, uh, secondary bounce after the boundary throw in on centre wing on the outer side. Big pack around the play. So Oakley will do the ruck work for Thompson again. And he'll be up against, uh, well... Nobody in particular. Wells came at it late, but uh, Oakley got it down towards Bradley, still on centre wing. Wide over the top of it for, Bel for Belpost oh. still. Tried to throw it out. The umpire agreed. And Thompson will take the free kick. Christian Highland has got Nick Maharis in the middle. He thought about it and then held the ball up. Yates running across half forward. Also <coughs> there, Troy Feldman. He's got Nick Maharis, who's made a lead for him. It's still in the middle, called to play on now. So he'll have to kick it. And he goes short over the head of Dan O'Connor, off hands and out of bounds. So nothing much going there for Thompson. Still on centre wing, it's out of bounds. Look, I think with the way the score is at the moment, <coughs> Thompson's got to be prepared to take a few risks uh, into this breeze and be prepared to run with the ball a little bit. Uh, just uh, waiting and kicking up like that's not going to achieve much at all. They've got a good lead, so they can, can afford a risk. Sean Wells got it down to Fursland, goes with a big oh. kick towards centre half forward, but taking the mark is Brad Roberts for Thompson. Chips it out wide and got a couple of people to raffle it. Highland is one of them. He takes the mark. O'Toole-like stats for Highland so far. Goes towards half forward. Sean Wells gets across there. Can't quite take the mark, though. And it's off hands and through. And over for a boundary throw-in. At half forward on the outer side. Thompson just into attack. Boundary throw-in. Yates up against Sean Wells. Yates gets it down towards uh, Oakley. But Adam Wells kicks it back towards the middle. Nick Maharis kept his eye on the ball and took a great mark in front of Matt Furman and runs away kicks around the corner to Sabali Armstrong intelligent kick draws a player Stein Kevin. running on for him kick it Laurie said he does now <laughs> goes towards Oakley the lead at centre half forward goes up good mark and we'll shoot for goal from 45 metres out tough kick though into the breeze 
Hicks having a fair game, Loss? Oh, he can play a bit, this guy, can he? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the recruiting officers? <laughs> Hell. How's his fitness level going, all right? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I'd, I'd like to know out of 16 games how many minutes of footy he actually hasn't played. He, I've never seen him interchanged. <laughs> Why would you? So Dean Oakley, 45 metres out, slide angle. A chance to put the 10th goal on the board for Thompson. Comes in, and the breeze tracks it around towards uh, the go the behind post. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> that took a while to rush that. Adam Martin <laughs> couldn't quite get hold of the footy to rush it through. He did so in the end, so a behind to Thompson. They get a 9-5, 59. They lead Bell Post Hill. Three behinds, Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 11 minutes played. So Adam Wells does the kicking in. He's got uh, Sean Simmons just on the 50-metre arc and uh, takes the mark for Bell Post Hill. Now looking for options, they take too long. Now decides to kick long. Terrible kick off the boot and uh, chipping oh. in in front of the pack. Troy Feldman does it all so easily. Chips it on the left foot to Nick Maharis, who's on the uh, the wing on his own. He chips it forward to the lead there of Timmy Garden. A lovely oh. little give quickly to Savali Armstrong, who's going on the left foot, hooks it toward goal. Oh, it's uh, just touched on the line, but it wasn't going to be a goal anyway. But another behind to the Thompson side. 9 6 60. They lead Bell Post Hill three behinds on the Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. Eleven and a half minutes gone. Well, that's a good. Uh, it was a good build up, wasn't it? This to me, this to me, Fair Dinkum is crazy. Adam Wells is a centre man. He's kicking in, and they need him. In, they need him to kick with the wind. And he's called to kick in now and does so straight down the throat of Aaron Bradley off his hands. Dean Oakley at the back. Can he pick it up? The ruckman McNamara against him got him high. <laughs> the coach can't believe it, but Dean Oakley will take the free kick. Point of the centre square at half forward. Wobbly kick, might be okay towards Highland. Tapped away, Forbes to run onto it. Ditch burn there as well, taps it back towards Wells. Close to the boundary line, Adam Wells. Happy to see it over in the end. And a boundary thrown in the right forward pocket for Thompson. He really needs to be in the middle as the link man, Laurie, doesn't he? Well, he's got to be there uh, so that he can get the ball and drive it forward. Uh, uh, he can't drive it 80 metres. Gardner now from the ruck contest, gives it away to Luke Forbes. Round the corner, goal number four for Luke. And a tenth for Thompson. And they got a 10-6, 66. They lead Bell Post till three behinds. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 13 minutes played. Luke Forbes, four goals, one. Well, they've been threatening for 13 minutes to, to <laughs> kick a goal up there. Uh, they've had the ball up there. And, uh, but that wind uh, is quite strong. I mean, there was indication that uh, Dean Oakley kick. I mean, he struck that pretty nicely. And uh, the wind got it and drew... Uh, pushed them fair away from the goals area. Bell Post Hill today have lost a plot, I'm telling you. Luke Forbes playing uh, older than his years, Laurie. He knows where to go for the footy, doesn't he? But the, they have. They could... You're putting on a show, Laurie. That's beautiful. Oakley and Wells goes down to Bart Tyler, gives it away to Adam Wells, runs into Martin Handley, his teammate, Bradley through the middle. Highland again in there trying to break free. Bart Tyler wraps him up this time, not going anywhere. And a secondary bounce in the middle. You can go and talk to him at half time if you want, Loz. No, I had, I had my chance. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do any good when I was there. So. <laughs> so a ball up still in the middle. Oakley up against Wells. Oakley gets it down. Nearly brought it down himself and could uh, nearly kick it. Wells kicked, uh, pat, taps it off the ground. Only as far as Feldman stands in the tackle. Handball. Mitchell to run onto it. Fursland runs the other way. Kick back towards centre half forward. One on one. Forbes punched away. Great roving off the back. Stein goes towards centre wing. Gardner yeah. must have a disease by himself. 30 metres in the clear. Run, Tim. He does so now. Right foot kick, tries to drill it towards Troy Maharis, uses the body, can't take the mark. Hood front and centre was terrific. Now he needs to handball it away, though, surrounded by Bell Post Hill players. They can break free. Ditch burn, kicks it around the corner to Fursland, can't take the mark. Gardner against him. Shepherds for Oakley. Handball to Troy Maharis. He thought about the handball backwards. Now he does. Back towards Dan O'Connor, under pressure. Gets around a couple, tries to break free, drop the footy. Should have been a free kick to Bell Post Hill. Wells, Adam with a clearing kick towards centre half forward, pushing the back to Furman. And the umpire said, yes, it was. And it will be Matty Furman's free kick on the point of the centre square at half forward. So Matt Furman, left foot kick lead on from Connolly. Goes in that direction. Yes. Great kick, great mark, and a chance for Simon Connolly to put the first on the board for Bell Post Hill. Kicked 61 far this season, Simon Connolly. Andrew Aitchison has not given him anything so far today, but he will have a chance to put his first on the board now. And the first for Bell Post Hill. So Simon Connolly comes in 30 metres out. And wobbly kick has oh, just got just it in. Wobbled in. <laughs> That's enough. 
He's put it through for a goal. So that's his first of the afternoon and the first four bell post tool. They go to 1-3-9. They trail Thompson 10-6. 66 Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard. 15 minutes played. So it just took one of the young guys to show how to kick the ball into the forward half. The young uh, Matty Furman, well controlled kick to the lead, and uh, Simon Connolly took the mark. It, it certainly was, Eric. Uh, just goes to show you, no nonsense. Just got the boot the ball, and uh, it was the right option. Why wouldn't you go to full forward when he's kicked 60 goals and hit him uh, nicely on the chest, and he's kicked their first goal? So the ball back in the middle uh, with umpire Scarrett as uh, Oakley. Doing the ruck work again, or oh, clearly taps it down. Gardner just crashes through the pack, gets a handball to O'Connor. He handballed it very wide out to Nick Maharis on the wing. He kicks it low into the breeze. Forbes, Luke Forbes on that occasion, can't quite get to the footy because uh, he's got now Chris Dis Ditchburn who's playing him very close there, and the contest sees the ball over the boundary line. So uh, 40 metres from the uh, behind post, the ball comes in once again. Yates doing the ruck work out there, gets it down Bartolo, he's tackled before he can get a kick, finally gets a handball over to uh, teammate in Fursland, and Fursland unfortunately for Belfast Hill puts it out on the full on centre wing, the ensuing free kick will go when he recovers the footy, gets back onto the ground to Nick Maharis. So uh, Maharis now for Thompson, outer centre wing, about to uh, bring the ball back into the forward half, Kicks it back toward the corridor. That Well, the wind's really holding that up. You need to be in front. There's a whistle on play. It's going against Troy Feldman, I think, on this occasion. So, uh, free kick going. Looks like it's... Um, Roberts, I think. Roberts, it, it looks like. Yes, Roberts kicks it to centre wing. A good contest there. Oh, off the pack, Timmy Gardner picks it up. Runs away. Kicks it low into the breeze. Nick, uh, Troy Maharas can't reach it, but he uh, does the, the right thing and smothers the footy. Troy, um, Timmy Gardner once again pushes the ball very discreetly towards the boundary and keeps it in the forward half for the Thompson side. So the ball out of bounds in front of the social club here at Thompson. The uh, boundary umpire about to put the ball in. About 20 players around the footy. Comes in Oakley, lovely tap down to O'Connor, went without it. Christian Highland picks it up, eludes a tackle, gets a handball to Oakley, handball over the top to Bradley who's running. He picks it up on the left foot, hooks it back in towards the corridor. All bell post still there, except that uh, Luke Forbes is making a contest of it. Roberts handballed it. Oh, gee, it's all so easy. Troy, Troy Feldman, Feldman picked it up on the line. He has kicked his fourth, and uh, all too easy for the Thompson forwards. They worked and worked and worked. They kept the footy in there, and they've kicked their 11th. 11 6 72, Thompson. They lead bell post to a 1 3 9. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 18 minutes gone. Yeah, he called it beautifully, Eric. They had the numbers of the footy. They're running in numbers of the Tigers, and uh, they're making opportunity for one another. I don't know how old uh, Troy Feldman is today. I think he's 25, but he's having a fair digging birthday out there, that's for sure. <laughs> he's having a good game. He's uh, playing very well. He's very hard at it today. He always is, but... You always play a bit harder when you play against your old oh, teammates, yes, don't you? <laughs> And Nick Maharis, he can go where he likes because no one goes with him. <laughs> Back to the middle. Oakley up against Sean Wells. Both get a fist to it. Still in the middle. Sean Wells clearing kick past Savali Armstrong. Goes towards Holiday. Can't pick it up. Under pressure. And Thompson three around him. Then he gets it away to McNamara. Handball set Adam Wells up. O'Connor against him. The two number one. Still at half forward for Bell Post. Still packed develops umpire. Will come in and ball it up. There was some great strong uh, footy there from the Tonkin side there, Eric. Uh, they put heaps of pressure on. They're really switched on today. They're just ferocious either at the footy or at the ball carrier, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, there's not too many easy kicks to be had by Belfast Hill. So ball up. Wells gets it down. That was Sean. Got it down, but only as far as uh, Jason Stein tried to get a kick from the pack. It was smothered. The umpire will come in and ball it up still at half forward for Belfast Hill. So, for uh, Bell Post Hill to possibly kick, if they can uh, push it inside their 50. Oakley gets it down. Martin Hanley tries to put a tackle on Tim Gardner. <laughs> and Timmy kicked it, kicked it to Welshie. Kicked it to Welshie because it's out of bounds on the full. On centre wing, Cam White will take the free kick for the Panthers. It's hard, Laurie, to find a good player for Bell Post Hill at the moment. Oh, you can't, Eric. Yeah, they're, they're struggling very uh, much, so. Goes towards <laughs> half forward, Forbes goes up, leads in the race for the footy, takes the mark easily as Laurie said, runs across half back, goes towards the middle, Mitchell and Bradley up, Fursland takes a good mark. And Fursland now, 
The lead's on from Connolly. Comes out. Aitchison punched away from uh, Roberts by Forbes. Falls into the arms, though, of Roberts. Kick around the corner. Riley runs back with a flight of the footy and sees it through. Good play. For a rush behind the bell post hill. So they go to 1-4-10. The Panthers, Thompson, 11-6-72. Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard, 20 and a half minutes played. Yes, uh, Sabali Armstrong. He runs back to the goal square to uh, kick the footy in once again. He gets the call from uh, Marcus Forbes on half-back flank. He just runs into the, uh, to the gap and uh, Forbes has uh, taken the mark. Kicks long now towards centre wing. Oh, gee, Bradley, all too easy. Took the chest mark in front of Holiday and uh, no pressure at all from the uh, Bell Post Hill players. Now as Bradley has the lead there from Troy Feldman. Oh, you can see all over his face, Laurie. <laughs> Determination to get to that footy. Ran towards us, chips the ball oh, into the gap. Mark. And Nick Maharis has run from centre wing to half forward flank and has taken the mark ahead of uh, two or three of the Bell Post Hill defenders who are getting a bit frustrated, I think, because the ball's coming down far too quickly, far too often. Quarter time at uh, East Geelong. The Eagles 1-5-11, trail cry 3-1-19. So the ball now with Nick Maharis. Gets a call from uh, Timmy Gardner who's running past. He puts it on the right foot and has gone bang and kicked it right through the middle. Well, the goal will stand. What else is happening back there? There's a little bit of a uh, to do. I'm not too sure what's happening there. There's a bit of a, uh, an altercation in the goal square. Now what the goal has been given, so Timmy Gardner's kicked the goal and that's been waived. So the score goes to uh, 12 goals, 678 for Thompson, 1410 Bell Post Till on the Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. And uh, I don't know what's going on. There's <laughs> a free kick given to Bell Post Till in the middle yeah. of the ground. Yeah, now, well. So uh, that is absolutely beyond me. I've never seen that happen before in my life. So uh, Wells kicks it in forward for uh, Bell Post Hill. Trying to crash through there is Andrew Roberts, but he's well tackled and uh, doesn't go anywhere. Well, I've got no idea. Surely uh, if it's a, an infringement, it's not a goal. Don't know. It must have been after they kicked the goal, perhaps. Gee. Well, you're supposed to learn something every day. I well, I guess, we, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Ball thrown up on the 50-metre arc for Bell Post Hill. O'Connor really wants the footy. Handball to Roberts, but... Uh, He's tackled ferociously. Ball picked up by Bartolo. Across the, the ground there, O'Connor comes in. Strong body work. Riley handballs it down, but unfortunately for uh, Thompson, oh, fell nice into, into the arms of Sean Simmons. He's hooked it around the body and uh, has kicked his first and has kicked Bell Post Hill's second goal. Desperately needed for them. Two goals, 4-16. They trail Thompson, 12-6-78. Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard, 23 minutes gone. Yeah, it was a lovely finish there. Uh, he got on that ball, uh, Simmons, and... Uh, Hooked it back beautifully with that bit of a breeze and uh, carry it right through for him. I see John, uh, Christian Highland quite, you know, clearly asking uh, umpire Tattnall what the story was, and, and he's doing it, I'd say, in the diplomatic way. There's no animation and uh, very quietly, and uh, hopefully he's got an explanation because we'd all like to know. We'll <laughs> ask him after, eh? <laughs> so back to the middle. Simmons first, Bell Post Hill second. There's still 62 points in arrears. Oakley goes up and gets it down towards Gardner. Sabali Armstrong running off half-back. Gives it to Spud. Thought about going left, then turns back around at the point of the centre square at half-back. Goes towards Yates at centre-half. Ford goes up. Off hands. Oakley's front and centre. Pretty good for Ruckman. White did well. Gave it away to Martin Hanley. Handball over the top to Bartolo. Will it sit for him? He got the handball away to Wells. Set him up. Roberts. He throws it away in the end. Martin Hanley through the middle as well. Coming back towards Backley. Goes to the right foot, kick was smothered, falls into the arms of Adam Wells, draws a player, handball from him, was chopped off by Forbes, comes to the back of the pack oh. by Roberts, wants the safety of the banjo line, and will find it. At half forward for Bell Post Hill. So a boundary throw in, the Panthers into attack. 24 and a half minutes played, second term. A few Bell Post Hill players, Laura, is the head down. Well, <laughs> yeah, they. I think they're going to have to... Uh, get that addressed at half time surely. From the ruck contest pack develops, Bartolo in there also Savali Armstrong Lee Holiday and Jason Stein, they all get up and the umpire will come in and ball it up still at half forward for the Panthers, Holiday up against Roberts, goes towards Bartolo, draws a player handballs over the top, sets McNamara up, Highland gives it away to Bradley, gives it back to Highland got a shepherd from Bradley as well, did well work the 1-2, right foot kick by Highland, looks for Hood, can't pick it up. 
Oakley there as well. And also Roberts comes in, oh. threw it away from the middle. And the umpire said yes. <laughs> and it will be a free kick to Thompson. And we'll come back to Tim Gardner on centre wing. Couldn't disguise that one. That was one of those easy to pick ones. <laughs> now Gardner goes out wide looking for Highland. Simmons comes at him. Highland stood his ground. And then goes the right foot kick around the corner. Towards full forward. No mark taken. Forbes up against Ditchburn. And they're also there, Roberts in support. Left foot kick back to whence it came. Three Thompson players raffle it. Bradley goes back towards centre half forward. Nick Maharis goes back in board. And there's Savali Armstrong over the back. And he takes the mark. Great play, Nick. You stop bringing your cousins to the footy, Eric, I tell you. So Savali Armstrong. That man, man was a trainer at the Geelong Football Club 45 years ago when I played. Yeah, he looks as old as you too, Eric. I thought so. A little older. <laughs> Joey Felder. So Savali Armstrong hasn't kicked a goal to date. <laughs> We'll line up for goal. <laughs> he comes in, keeps it low, and it looks pretty good. He's pretty happy with it, and he's put it through for his first. Oh, suspense from the goal umpire. <laughs> and 13 goals to Thompson. They go to 13 6 84, and they lead Bell Post Hill 2 4 16. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 26 and a half, and it's played. Laurie, uh, you're a former coach. What can Belpo still do? Go well, home. well, I'll tell you what they would need. The siren to go very quickly <laughs> so they can get in and regroup and uh, just have a look at... Uh, probably borrow, borrow the tape off us, run it through the video and... Uh, <laughs> at half time. <laughs> and, and see exactly what they're not doing. In the middle, Oakley gets a tap down for Thompson. Comes to Adam Wells eventually. He kicks it clear of the centre. Running onto the footy uh, is Martin Hanley. Well, I thought he picked it up, but Stein does well. Took it off him, keeps the ball in play. The handball comes inboard to Adam Wells again, kicks it inside 50. But the, oh, the leading mark. player there, fantastic mark to uh, Riley. Riley it was, and uh, back in defence. But uh, the kick there from Forbes, not so good. But uh, Thompson, well, they've got numbers everywhere. Aitchison gets it to uh, Timmy Gardner. He slips over, not very impressed with the ground condition. And uh, he... Uh, Gets up again and starts running. I think it might have hurt the leg a bit, actually. And uh, yeah. as the ball's gone across the face of the ground, Stein has a player loose out there in Christian Highland. He's knocked up getting kicks, I think, today. He kicks it forward. Oh, the lead's come from Dean Oakley. Round about centre-half forward. I don't know whether he's resting or whether he just happened to be there. Chips it inboard. Sabali Armstrong takes the mark. He's got Timmy Gardner. I think he's right now. He's within range of the goals, but he chips it inboard. And, oh, oh great one-handed mark. <laughs> Troy Feldman. It is Thompson's day today when they've uh, got the party tricks going before half time because Troy Feldman has taken the mark 20 metres out, 45 degree angle, and will have another shot on goal. And all this is in the uh, 28 at the 28 minute mark of the second quarter. So Thompson doing everything right at the moment has Troy Feldman already kicked four, about to line up on goal. Will be difficult with a bit of bruise there. But uh, if anyone can kick a goal from there, it's Troy Feldman. It was a and said that, almost kicked it out of bounds <laughs> in the full. Luckily, get it behind, but he did. 13-7-85, Thompson. They lead Bell Post till 2-4-16. Raiders Bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 28 and a half minutes gone. Well, Timmy won't lay it off again. <laughs> I was surprised he did then. <laughs> so, Roberts from full back. This zone defence is uh, upsetting Bell Post a bit, Laurie. Yes, it is. Straight down the middle. Savali Armstrong from behind Simmons. Oakley there as well. Two on one. Oakley. Shepherds for Bradley to run through. Ooh, oh, he got a kick in the uh, kicking in danger as well. Comes through to Troy Feldman again. Breaks free. Right foot kick across centre half forward beautifully to Highland. Runs on. Gives it a Dan O'Connor. Gets around one. Draws a play. Kick over his shoulder. Right foot and goals. O'Connor. His first 14 for Thompson. 14 7 91. The Tigers. And a lead bell post still 2 4 16. Raiders. Bingo. Second quarter scoreboard. 29 minutes played. Aaron Bradley counting his fingers. Oh, that, that, that wasn't kicking in danger. I've never seen it. Yeah, anyway, now, just... now the umpire apologising to him. <laughs> What's he saying? I'm sorry. No, not repeating anything from the spectators in front of us. I'll guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you repeat it either, Laurie. He played in the days when you didn't have fingers. Yeah, that's right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> don't, re don't repeat it. Just no. <laughs> I'm getting sued twice already this week. <laughs> yeah. So in the middle, ball uh, comes to ground. Christian Highland breaks a tackle, gets a handball cleared. He's got uh, Dean Oakley running. He gets a handball. Well, uh, Aaron Bradley missing those fingers. Missed the footy as well. <laughs> Went straight through the hands. Picked up on centre wing. Oh, Christian Highland comes back on the footy again. Tackles Bartolo. Causes a spillage. 
Ball comes out. Stein picks it up for Thompson. Gets clear. Hooks it around the body towards half forward. Good work there by McAuliffe. He got rid of uh, Hood on that occasion. Comes back, gets the footy, but he's under pressure as the siren sounds to end the first half of uh, a very interesting game here at Godfrey Street with a half-time score showing Thompson 14 goals, 7 91 leading Belpostel 2-4-16. In that quarter, Thompson kicked five goals, three, and Belpostel managed two goals, three. 14 7 91, Thompson, they lead Belpostel 2-4-16. Goal kickers at half-time for Thompson. Four each to Luke Forbes and Troy Felbin. Singles to Tim Gardner, John Mitchell, Noel Riley, Troy Mahara, Sabali Armstrong and Dan O'Connor. The goals for Belpostel, Simon Connolly and Sean Simmons, but it's a long way back for Belpostel. They trail 2-4-16, Thompson 14-7-91. We'll take a break when we come back to second half action of our Match Day Live coverage on 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.